the electric cell. The bulb in a torch gets its electricity from an electric cell. These electric cells or batteries are also used in alarm clocks, transistor radios, wristwatches, cameras, toys operated by batteries, and many other devices. If you have changed the batteries of your battery car or any other toy that's run with batteries, you would have noticed that it has a small metal cap on one side and a metal disc on the other side. You might also have noticed a positive sign and a negative sign marked on the electric cell. The positive side is called the cathode while the negative point is called the anode. The metal cap is the positive terminal of the electric cell and the metal disc is the negative terminal. All electric cells or batteries have a positive terminal and a negative terminal. There are chemicals stored inside the electric cell that help it to produce electricity. When the chemicals are used up, the cell stops functioning. You must have seen that happen when your torch doesn't light up or your toy stops moving. That's because the chemicals in the batteries have been used up and you need to get a new set of electric cells. A torch bulb. A torch bulb has an outer case of glass that is fixed on a metallic base. Have you seen what's inside the bulb? If you have a closer look inside the bulb, you will find a thin wire fixed in the middle of the glass bulb that lights up and makes the bulb glow. This thin wire that lights up is called the filament of the bulb. This filament is attached to two thicker wires. One of these is connected to the metal case that surrounds the bulb. Other is connected to the metal tip at the base. The metal case that surrounds the bulb and the metal tip at the base of the bulb are the two terminals of the bulb. These two terminals are fixed in such a way that they do not touch each other. The electric bulbs that we have in our homes also have a similar design. Now let's see why these terminals are important for the bulb to work. We can make a bulb light up using an electric cell. For this we need four lengths of electric wires covered in different colored plastic and an electric cell. Remove the plastic covering from each end of the wire so that the metal wires are exposed at the end. Fix the exposed part of two of the wires to the cell and the exposed part of the other two to the bulb. Connect the loose ends of the wires attached to the cell to the loose ends of the wires attached to the bulb. Your bulb will light up instantly. That is because by connecting the wires from the bulb to the cell, we created an electric circuit. That means that we provided a path for the electricity to flow between the two terminals of the cell. To flow through the two terminals, the electric circuit passes through the filament of the bulb. The filament is made up of a special material that heats up easily when the current passes through it. This is what makes the bulb glow. 